Hey everyone, uh, my name is Amir Joshi and uh, today what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing you a simple website that I've made with, uh, you know, it's, it's a basic simple website with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And uh, keyword uh, or the emphasis, emphasis is going to be on the word simple. So uh, nothing fancy here, uh, I'm not using any frameworks or anything like that. But, uh, you know, this is just the, the premise of this video is, uh, you know, it's geared towards those of you who are, you know, just starting out in front-end development and, uh, you know, you're just trying to get started, you're looking at, you're getting at, getting into the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But, um, you know, uh, it's always good to have, you know, kind of a, um, you know, kind of a look into the future, so to speak, um, see what you can do with uh, these three core languages of uh, front-end development. Uh, even though we have, um, you know, uh, frameworks these days, React, Angular, all those cool, all those cool technologies, um, these three languages are still, you know, they're still kind of the basic building blocks of the front-end world. So, so um, the premise of the video, like I said, is it's, it's geared towards those of you who are starting out, but at the same time, hopefully, you know, this video gives you an insight, a better insight in, into the, into the world of front-end development. And you know, also you know, helps encourage you to keep, uh, you know, keep chugging away, you know, keep, keep at it, and um, you know, keep working towards uh, working towards your goal of becoming a proficient front-end developer. All right. So I'll tell you a little bit about myself. So again, my name is Ameya Joshi, and that's exactly how it's pronounced, the way you see in the parentheses there. The reason I've uh, you know kind of uh, you know, elaborated the pronunciation of my name is uh, a lot of people ask me how I pronounce my name. So, <laughs> of course, it's not something. It's not a common name around these parts. So, then again, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty chill about about my name. So it's not a big deal if you get it wrong. No worries there. I am an aspiring front end developer from Norman. So I'm right from right here in the uh, Oklahoma City metro area. I got my computer science degree and associates in applied sciences from Oklahoma City Community College back in uh, May 2014. So, and uh, fast forward to last year in October, I got my FreeCodeCamp front end certification. So I went through the paces of FreeCodeCamp's curriculum and uh, you know kept at it uh, for three to four months. Uh, learned a whole lot more stuff than I did in college, for sure. Uh, not that college was bad. College gave me a great foundation, but uh, free code camp, you know, doing free code camp's curriculum really helped me, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, acquire a lot, a lot more in terms of skills and knowledge. You know, improved my improved my thinking ability as well. And uh, so yeah, if you uh, if you're familiar with Oklahoma Slack, my handle is at coder aj seven four seven zero. The uh, seven four seven zero part of it will become pretty apparent here in, in just a bit. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I can tell you right off the bat, the, uh, uh, I'm a pretty, uh, pretty avid aviation enthusiast. Uh, aviation is one of my big hobbies. So, um, uh, the 7470 part, um, I'll tell you is, is part of a, it's part of the tail number, a registration number of the very first 747. So, um, yeah, you'll see exactly how big my hobby is in just a bit here. But anyway, um, just a little bit, uh, you know, some discussion discussion points here or disclaimers. So, you know, this video is a work in progress in and of itself. Um, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not a shy person, but uh, I'm not gonna jump and grab the opportunity to speak in in public or otherwise. Uh, those of uh, those people who have met me will uh, definitely know what I'm talking about there. But um, anyway, this is my first video ever where I'm doing any talking uh, about anything at all. So um, obviously, you know, there might be points. Uh, you know, I'll try not to sound like a noob in this video, but there might be points where I sound a little amateurish. So uh, that being said, I appreciate your feedback and constructive criticism. Leave me a comment in the Twitch comment section, or you can, you know, you can uh, Slack, uh, you know. You send me a message on Slack. Again, my handle is at coder aj seven four seven zero. And uh, yeah, I'm somewhere between as far as my personal skill level. Uh, you know, just to if I'm accurately assessing myself, 
I'm somewhere between entry and mid-level when it comes to front-end development. So I'm definitely not uh, pure entry-level. I'm definitely past that stage, but um, I'm not quite. I haven't quite reached the mid-level. So I, you could probably say I'm a junior at the moment. So yeah, yeah. Usually, um, I'm not. I'm not the one who grabs the the microphone and starts talking. Usually, I'm behind, hiding behind my computer screen, doing coding or playing games or browsing the net. So, but yeah. That being said. You know, uh, I'm looking at, the, at this as an opportunity for learning something new. So, let's take a quick look. I'll show you the uh, website I'm talking about. So yeah, here we go. Um, uh, so obviously, you know, like I said, simple website. We have a banner here with, uh, H, with an H1 heading. Um, and then uh, a very simple navigation bar, yeah. So seasoned developers will look at this, and uh, you know some of them, some of them will probably uh, you take a look at this page here and start, um, you know, noticing some stuff which needs improvement. So yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, by all means, uh, you can give me feedback on this website as well uh, if you wish. Uh, it's definitely, like I said, it's definitely not the best example out there. Um, but you know, for a basic basic website, I guess it does the job. So I'm not gonna go too too much in depth um, in the website's content. Um, I really wanna you know focus more on the uh, behind the scenes stuff, the code of the website. But uh, I'll just give you, give you a quick rundown. So the website, it's uh, you know it's it's uh, showcasing it's advertising my add-ons and uh, you know a little bit about the um, a little about the YS Flight Simulator for which I made the add-ons. So this flight simulator has been on for a while. It's a freeware flight sim uh, made by just one guy, Dr. Soji Amakawa, who's a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. And uh, so yeah, um, I've I made some add-ons. Uh, started making maps, uh, add-on maps uh, for the uh, for the game back in uh, 2012. And uh, yeah, ever since I've been you know just creating pretty much uh, more or less add-on maps. Uh, I've done some aircraft repaints, but. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I digress. So um, yeah, anything, everything you see here is pretty much, <clears throat> you know, rendered by HTML, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. Even this, even this little thing here, this table, this is a table style with CSS. And um, so this this page, basically, since it's the home page, I I decided to you know put this put this uh, you know table here which is styled to um, you know to represent a uh, if, if you've seen those um, if you've seen those uh, analog flight information display boards you know you used to see them everywhere in uh, airports back in the day uh, Frankfurt Airport still has an analog analog flight information display board and what I mean by analog is you know those letters that used to flip uh, you know from the there'll be all these letters from A to Z and they would flip, you know, uh, flip letters and flip numbers and they would, uh, someone, someone in the background would, you know, be operating, operating these boards and they would spell out the destination um, or origin and uh, give you flight information, you know, arrivals and departures and all that kind of stuff. And they had the, you know, they had green lights, flashing green lights, indicating the status of the flight. Well, I've taken the same idea and uh, tried to adapt it to this uh, website. That's basically what's, basically what's going on here. So, um, yeah, so that's the home page. Uh, let's move on to the next one here, the maps uh, or the uh, add-ons page here. So you can see, um, you know, immediately, immediately your uh, attention is drawn to this uh, heading here, the maps heading heading level 1, and I have a level 2 heading here, a level 3 heading, so on and so forth. And um, yeah, each page, th this is the comment section, right, the banner and the uh, nav bar. So um, I have some image, slide, sliding image galleries, you know, um, where the user can, you know, cycle through some images, some screenshots that I've taken from my maps. Same thing going on here, and, and you know, these are bi-directional, so you can s scroll either way. And then I have some, uh, you know, some image collages for my aircraft repaints. So this is, um, this page basically shows 
the visitor, you know, what I've done, <coughs> excuse me, what I've done as far as, uh, you know, my add-ons and, you know, if they like what they see, they can, they can download the stuff and, and, uh, you know, play it in the, in the sim, use it in the sim. So I'm going to go over the code for these. I don't have enough, I don't have too much time right now. I'm going to keep this video fairly short, around 30 minutes or so. But I'm going to go over the code of these, uh, you know, first two pages in here in just a bit. And then I'll show you some of the CSS and uh, JavaScript behind, uh, you know, behind the, uh, uh, behind the, the inner workings, so to speak, behind the workings of, say, for example, these flashing lights, you know, how I, how I got those to work. And then the rest of the site is, it's pretty simple. It's a fairly simple website from this point on. Um, but yeah, just, you know, I've given the user, I've given the uh, visitor, that is, enough information uh, to where they can just scroll through the through the pages, browse the website, you know, and uh, get enough, uh, get enough information. Uh, here's a modification policy. Uh, this is the uh, works in progress page. Again, this is CSS at work along with uh, HTML. So the um, so this is a color code for these are just work items which I've styled as uh, you know list items in an unordered list or uh, UL. So and then I gave these uh, slightly style these with slightly different bullet points from the usual circles that you can see. And then, uh, you know, of course, yeah, I, I made the color code intuitive, so red is bad, obviously, usually. Uh, so it's not started. Orange means in progress, and completed is in green. So completed list items are in green. Com and green is good, yeah. Green is good, so. And then I have these um, other work items here. By the way, these names, you know, <laughs> uh, my maps are fictional, so I try to stay away from real world names. In keeping with the fictional theme, so the the names are obviously they don't they they're fictional as well. They don't mean much, so don't pay attention to those. And then I have this uh, real simple you know tools page stuff that I've created for the uh, wise flight sim. You know anything that helps like uh, map map making documentation or um, a collection of various elements that I've made, so on and so forth. And then I have these, uh, they have this links page where I've listed a whole bunch of pages that, um, you know, I feel are really cool, uh, which have, uh, oh, you know, a lot of modders, a lot of, uh, a lot of people who play the games, sorry, a lot of people who played this game, um, you know, they, they would agree that a lot of these are really cool add-ons and add-on websites. So, and, you know, when it comes to a whole bunch of text on, on uh, web pages, uh, I've realized there are two camps: people who read all this and people who don't. And uh, nothing wrong about that. Um, but I fall into the camp of people who do, and uh, that's a very, very small camp. Uh, most people will, yeah, most people will find this really boring. So that's why I've given the links, right? I've given the links to the various websites here, and then. Uh, last page here in the website is just a little bit about myself you know who I am and and uh, you know uh, my username is turbofan on this forum and of course uh, turbofan is of course a jet engine so yeah real real original yeah anyway um so that's the website but um, let's take a quick uh, I'll take a quick, real quick uh, few seconds here um, and then uh, we'll get to the code behind the website so we'll meet you back right here. Okay, so here we go, folks. Uh, yeah, this is the um, uh, this is the index page code for the. Yeah, I just uh, showed you the website. So this is the code behind the index page. So you can see here. Uh, by the way, this is uh, Visual Studio Code, a really cool um, code editor, which you can use for a lot of different languages. Um, so, but yeah, this is um, you know this is the uh, usual. The usual uh, HTML5 web page document. You got the doc type declaration, the HTML tag here, the the head section and the body section. And um, so because of uh, I'm running just a tad short on time here. So what I'm going to do is show you some you know kind of the more interesting uh, uh, part here, the more interesting part of the of the page. And so I'm going to show you how I got these green lights to work. 
right? Now, you might have guessed by now that these are nothing more than uh, you know images that are alternating between left and right side images, and they're nothing more than PNG circles, right? Green green circles, you know, PNG images. Um, and uh, each circle, uh, you know, because I did this in Microsoft Paint, each circle has a it had a white space which I just colored, you know, with the same, you know, black or dark gray you could call it color that the table has. So, uh, you know, kind of blends in, and just shows the circle part, not the. Otherwise, it would look odd uh, with a you know a circle and a and a white square in the background. You don't want that. So anyway, that's what I that's how I uh, you know incorporated that into the uh, into the uh, table. So for the products that uh, have these status indicators, uh, you know how am I actually how am I actually you know getting this to work? How is the browser rendering this uh, every second? So let's take a look at that. So uh, before I proceed with showing you the code, um, I want to quickly uh, go over. Uh, this is again for those of you who are new to web development. Uh, the concept of the document object model and the DOM tree. So the document object model is essentially, you know, <coughs> essentially it's <coughs> essentially it's um, uh, a model on which the on which all browser, you know, all web pages are rendered. Um, um, so it essentially states, you know, uh, how how a web page is rendered and how the browser will show you the web page. Um, and the DOM itself has a tree, the DOM tree, which, uh, you know, has, uh, the DOM tree itself has a bunch of nodes, N-O-D-E-S, nodes. And because uh, of the concept of nodes, nodes make it uh, very, it make, it make, they make it very easy to just go in and change, you know, dy dynamically change using JavaScript uh, to change uh, text or, you know, for example, uh, inside this paragraph tag, the paragraph tags or this paragraph tag here is a node. The text inside it is a node as well. All right. Because the text is a node, I can use the inner HTML property. Once it's rendered in the browser, if I want to change any of the text, I can use the inner HTML property to change the text inside. So essentially, that's what nodes are. All these tags here, the text inside, that's a node. The table cells, they're a node, you know, so on and so forth. So, um, yeah. So let's get let's get let's get right to it. How did I, you know, for these images that I'm imp that I'm importing from my icons directory, how do I uh, actually get that to work? You know, alternate between the left and right side um, circles. Well, because of nodes, uh, it becomes fairly easy to kind of work with, right? So you have this. What am I doing here? Is so I'm saying document get elements by class name. I'm passing in the class name left green light, right? So the the code is basically saying, okay, all the all the uh, elements here on this page that have class of left green light, um, you know, target all of those elements, and then get elements by class name essentially returns an array of nodes for all the images that, or sorry, all the tags that have a class of left green light. Same thing is going on here with the class name, you know, all the all the uh, tags that have right green light as a class name, I'm returning an array. So I have these two arrays essentially, right? Nodes left and nodes right. And initially, what I'm doing here is um, I'm setting both um, both Im image uh, tags that have the class of left green light and right green light. I'm setting them to uh, visibility of hidden, so they don't appear initially when you know before the uh, web page finishes loading they will nothing will appear in that table cell all right now i have i have this one here this variable light on equals false that's a boolean of course all right and by the way let is an es6 syntax uh es6 javascript uh es5 was var all right so that's the way you declare that's the way you declared uh an a variable uh, in ES5 as var, uh, let is ES6 syntax. All right, just just some clarification there. So, <clears throat> okay, so I have these two statements, this boolean here, what am I, what's the next step? Then, okay, so I need a function which will handle the the actual 
alternate alternation between left and right side green lights. So I have this function called start green flashing lights. And because these are arrays, right, all I need to do is uh, loop through each array and <coughs> at <coughs> all at one time, excuse me, <coughs> I have some hay fuel or something. <coughs> uh, because I have these arrays, all I need to do is loop through each array, just using a regular for loop, um, access each index, each array's index. And what this is, uh, this statement here and this statement here, these are both uh, ternary statements or conditional statements. All right. So essentially, what's <clears throat> what are these statements? Well, everything to the left of the question mark, everything on this side, is going to result to a true or false. And based on that, if this is true, then I have these. You know, it's going to be either this or this. Okay. So if it's if this is true, if that results to a true value the resultant value is going to be this visible. If it's false, it's going to be this hidden. All right. So it's true if this is, if this is true, if this is false, sorry, uh, let's say that again. If this is true, then the value, the resultant value assigned to visibility is visible. If this is false, the resultant value is going to be hidden. That's assigned to the visibility uh, attribute, CSS, CSS attribute. And look what I've done here is I've just basically reversed the order. All right, so first uh, value. So in this case, if this is true, the for, you know the the values that got to be assigned is got to be hidden. If this is false, it's going to be visible. All right. Now notice that notice this because um, because of the way I've declared this initially, light on equals false. I would expect this to these lights, you know, these nodes with the uh, class name bright green light to appear first when the browser finishes loading. You know, the very first time that you visit the index page. Yeah. So if I refresh this page, I'm going to refresh this page now. See what happens. You see, you see what happened. All the right side green lights appeared first, followed by the left side green lights, and then they keep alternating. All right. And uh, this statement here, so it's like this basically acts like a a switch, all right. So essentially, what I'm saying is, after this code renders, so so let's refresh the page again, all right. So all the right side green lights show up first, right. So this code is saying show all green lights first, and keep the left side green lights uh, hidden, all right, right, because initially false, right. So this is false, which means this, the left side green lights are hidden, the right side green lights become visible. So this code, this for loop renders, there's this stuff, and then uh, the code comes down here to line 38 saying, okay, light on is exactly the opposite. The exclamation mark light on basically means the opposite. Assign, basically flip light on, uh, you know, don't do, do 180. So light on's value becomes true Okay, so now it. Um, so now what I'm what was going on is uh, this function show status lights is calling set interval, and set interval is a JavaScript function. All right, so it's going to call start green flashing. I don't want to move that. Let's try it again. Yeah, start green flashing lights, and this is in milliseconds, thousand milliseconds. So every second, this function show status lights is going to call this, which in, turn is called, which in turn calls this, start green flashing lights, and that's going to be called every second, all right? So the next second after the green lights show or appear in the cells they, you know, that I've coded them to appear, light on gets, rever you know, basically flips on itself, light on assigns itself as, you know, as, fal as true, goes from false to true here. And because it's true, when next time this this is called, and next second this is called, this evaluates to true, that evaluates to true. But because I both because I've you know, reversed the order here, because this is true, remember what I said, the left side um, value to the left of this colon is the resultant value, 
and this is the resultant value here for the right side green light. So the left green lights show, the right side green lights disappear, and every second, you know, this code is called, these lights keep alternating. All right, so hopefully that made sense, and I didn't, I didn't sound like a confused, uh, confused bumbler or something. So uh, yeah, essentially that's that's all what all this code is doing. Uh, sets up you know sets up the arrays, loops through the arrays, makes them visible or not visible every second uh, via this switch. You, you know you can call this a switch. And uh, one other last piece of code here that uh, you need that I actually I needed at least I needed to for this to work is this add event listener here. So whenever you say window dot add event listener, once the window uh, you know, once the window, the browser finishes loading. Um, so the event listener is loaded. Yeah, once it finishes loading, it's going to call show status lights. And again, like I said, show status lights calls this set interval, and set interval is set to run every second because I have thousand. The second argument here is in milliseconds. Thousand milliseconds is one second, and every second, start green flashing lights is being called and it does this thing right so yeah that's basically it um so um uh, taking a look at uh, at something else here uh the rest of the the rest of the page uh, the rest of the code here on this page is pretty simple you know this is a simple table um and um yeah, this is the code for that. You know, when I make the model, I made the model window. Um, this is the code. Uh, initially, this is all hidden, but uh, when I click, when I click this link here, this window that comes that pops up is essentially all this. Okay. And um, this here, this paragraph, uh, you know. This whole thing uh, is <clears throat> is what you see here. Go ahead and uh, yeah, get that out of the way. So when I click this, you know, when I click the the H uh, three uh, heading here, level three heading, this is a toggle heading. And again, uh, the function that's controlling this is uh, in my JavaScript file. See, see if I can see if I can find it. There we go, right there. All right. So going back here, see I'm given this. I've given this an idea of message header. So again, uh, this is a this is how you can do it with jQuery. All right. So the dollar sign and parentheses and the string inside. Essentially, it's uh, jQuery. Um, so message. So this variable is basically pointing to you know the the element that has this uh, ID message header and that way I can use this variable with the, you know I've given it the same name for um, you know to avoid confusion so you can say message header dot dot on which is a jQuery method when you on click on the on clicking this this particular um, element with this ID I have this function jQuery function called slide toggle so by the way, this is an anonymous function. So, the, but you can actually put you know other functions inside anonymous functions. Uh, so basically, what I'm doing is, uh, you know, a slide toggle. Essentially, you know, the name it does what it suggests. So it slide it toggles the sliding of whatever you know you want to uh, you know show or hide. And uh, slide toggle itself, uh, you know, takes two arguments again. So the speed. You know how many seconds it takes for the the sliding effect, and what type of sliding effect you want to show. Okay. So, because I've specified you know 500 milliseconds, so it's about half a second is what it takes um, each time I click this to show or hide the hide this paragraph. All right. So I guess uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm out of time. So hopefully uh, you know I gave you a good idea of you know what you can do with HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, you know if you want to see my code, it's on my GitHub. Uh, again, my GitHub uh, is a uh, you know code AJ so on four seven zero. And um, yeah, that essentially wraps things up here. Uh, I 
pretty sure I'm officially out of time. So, um, like I said, you know, this video was uh, essentially uh, it's kind of an experiment in the in the works. So whatever uh, feedback you have, I'd be very happy to to hear it uh, or uh, read it. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, if you if you're on Slack, Oklahoma Slack. My handle is at coder AJ so on four seven zero. You can uh, send me a, you can direct me, direct message me there, or you can just leave a comment in the Twitch section. So um, yeah, thanks everyone for joining. If you could make it, uh, if you could, you could uh, come, come and watch this video. Um, and uh, I guess uh, uh, hopefully we'll, uh, you know, with subsequent videos, if we do make them, uh, we'll, uh, uh, you know, we'll definitely try to improve on, on this first one. All right. Thanks again. You have you guys have a great rest of the weekend.